Shaq says the Celtics are overrated. Agree or disagree, Maz? I do a little bit. I'm concerned about uh, the softness factor. I think that when they get into the, they still they still complain a little bit too much. They bitch a little bit too much for my liking. And look, again, these last couple of games, I'm not telling you they mean anything. I don't like it. I don't like it. I would rather, and I understand that they can probably flick the switch back on and the first two rounds are going to be less challenging and probably the third round's going to get, even be all that challenging for them. But the mindset matters to me. And I think they have shown a tendency to take their eye off the ball and not respond particularly well to any sort of adversity. So, you know, and I'm not saying they're horrible at it. I'm just, they're better than they were a couple of years ago. But to win the title, you've got to be able to freaking keep your nose to the freaking grindstone the whole time. Yeah, I wouldn't call them overrated. I just don't think that they're a particularly tough team. And they're the ones that get in their own way. And so I think this is what, you know, like guys like these old heads like Shaq and Barkley, like I don't think that they trust this Celtics team because they're annoyed at their the softness that they see with them. So, Fine. I think that's one of the things that'll you know hold them back from the very tippy top, and that's the mental and physical toughness needed to take it from someone at the ultimate level. I agree with that 100%. I just, again, I'm not using these last two games as a barometer at all, at all. But the, they're not overrated. What Should they not be the title favorite? No, they should. They should. They should absolutely be the prohibitive Vegas favorite, the title favorite in terms of national talking heads. Us here doing this, fans. No, they're on on paper and just having you know, the season that they had. They should be the favorite to win the title. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Go ahead. No. So your your point, Mike, is a good one. I mean, I get it. They're sixty two and eighteen. Their the record is. I would just argue that the gap between them and everybody else isn't as big as it, everyone thinks. So. You know, I would say yes, a little overrated. Yes. So I don't. I think they're properly rated as the title favorite. It's they're the best team. They've had the best year, and it's their time. It. it this is it. I mean, we're here now. We're. It's the Mike. It's been the their league. time for the last three years. When are they actually going to close? Okay. I mean, I feel you on that. Except like Denver's the favorite because they're the defending champions. They're the favorite. So Jimmy, you know, subscribe to the. Let's see, Jordan, Giannis, LeBron, Curry, you get seventh year in the league, 27 years old, like that. You know, isn't Tatum a little short of that, or he's been just a little short of that, right? Oh, the analytics and numbers make your case for it. It's just, there's a feel, there's like an eye test thing that like, just, I don't know, like the numbers are all there. I just need to see them actually do it. And until they actually do it, I'm skeptical of them. And I will, and I will say that Denver is the favorite, the uh, yeah, Denver's probably the favorite, but I just well, no, I need listen. to see them actually do it. Okay, me saying it's their time is not the same as saying they're going to win it all. Like all I'm saying is that excuse of it not being, you know, they're not quite there yet. They don't quite yet have the experience and the seasonings that some of these other guys do or had. That's pretty much over. Like you're you're kind of there. I I know is Tatum 25 or 26. I think he's I think he's turning 26. But let me check. Okay, so. And, and, and again, I know we, we've talked about this and everyone has a million times over. He just turned 26. Yep. All right. LeBron was 27 or Le, Giannis was 28 or Curry was 27 or Jordan was 27. Or I mean, Jalen Brown's 27 and he's one of the highest paid players in the NBA. Okay. This is what I'm saying. They're pretty much here. And 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 if, if they're still a year or two short of that historical marker of when you break through, they've been at it so long that, you know what? Enough. Enough. This is there's no, there's no more excuse about they're paying their dues and they're working their way up to that point. No, now it's here. This should be their time. So, all right, let's see it then. Even, let's go. You're the newest green teamer. Let's lead the charge. Yay, I'm, green team for the championship. I don't get where you're coming from with this, Jimmy. Yeah, hey, you just feel like a green teamer today. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Jimmy I'm not, on this. Eh, these bad games, they don't matter. It's their time. I, they, I think they're going to win the finals. They don't matter. These games don't matter. It's ridiculous. To Somebody got to you. Please, game 78 and 79 in a year in which they lead the East and the league by like 10 games? The old it's Felger ridiculous. would be criticizing them and ripping them. No, no, no. I'll, <laughs> I'll rip them when it matters. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.